Okay, so I had a question. Well, it wasn't really a question directly toward towards me on YouTube. But what is the best guitar you've ever played? Or the nicest one? And that is a really tough question. Because I'm going, I have to be honest. I don't think there's really any guitar that really stands out to me as being the nicest guitar I've ever played. <sighs> Jeez. What is the nicest guitar I've ever played? I played a lot of guitars. A lot of them. <sighs> I always think that I sound really good on my amps, no matter what I play. Uh, well, I definitely played some crappy guitars, of course. I don't know. It's really a subjective type of thing. Because one guitar is good for this, one guitar is good for that. I don't really believe in the nicest or the best guitar I've ever played. I don't really believe in that. I can tell you the most expensive guitar I own. Or I could, uh, or the one I like the best. Which is the one that I like the best? Well, there's one that I like the best, and it's only for sentimental reasons. It's, it would be my 1973 Strat, because that's the first real guitar I ever bought. And now, now the reason I call it my first real guitar is because it's, it's made in America, and I paid $1,000 for it. Uh, I had a uh, Japanese Fender that was given to me by my brother. I would consider that a real guitar, but I think the mo the most I've ever paid for a guitar is a thousand dollars, and it's that 1973 Strat. And it's not because that's my my favorite one, I guess you could call it. I don't play it that much. So I don't really know if, if you could call it my favorite. It's just the one that's the most sentimental to me. I wouldn't say that it's really better than anything else. Uh, I guess it holds tune pretty good. It it sounds pretty good. Uh, but it, actually the, the pickups on it are kind of low output. They're not original pickups to begin with. It's definitely good for for certain situations, but you have to calibrate your amps and turn them up just a little bit, probably like one uh, number on your amps to compensate. Because I feel like the pickups are low output. There are these really weird Seymour Duncans that are in there. <sighs> That's my most sentimental guitar. Uh, I used to have a, a Court X guitar. It's not the X... Like, it, they have, like, a, another series that's called, like, the X6 or the X something. There's just a plain old Court X guitar. That was my first guitar. And I lost it at a gig. And uh, I wish I still had it. It broke my heart when I lost it because that was the first electric, electric guitar that I ever played. First one I ever owned. It was It did play pretty good, though. It played. I remember it was playing pretty good. I remember playing other guitars like Fenders and stuff and thinking that my Court X played better. It's probably because it had a smaller, had a, like a Gibson scale length. So at that time I must have just been playing, I must have been used to that type of scale length. But now I'm more used to the Fender scale length. And someone can hand me a Gibson and I could probably make it, I could make it sound good, but I'm more comfortable on, with playing on the fender scale length you know for those of you that don't know the scale length is like the spacing between the frets slightly bigger on a fender smaller on a gibson i'm sure most of you fucking nerds already know that i don't really have a guitar that sticks out to me as being like the nicest guitar i've ever played i've i've played fancy guitars at Guitar Center and other places where I guess I should be impressed, but I'm I'm really not. I think pretty much all guitars are pretty much the same as long as they're not a piece of shit. 
and uh, I'd say my biggest conundrum with guitars is when the wiring is messed up, like when you put a humbucker inside of a Strat, and it gets rid of the two and four canceling positions. I hate that. Like to me, that ruins a Strat. Now, one that I regret getting rid of is the uh, is the Japanese. Uh, I think it's called it's like the seventy two reissue. It was done in the 80s. I, I made a video of it like years ago and I sold it on Reverb. I kind of regret getting rid of that one, but that one had the issue that I was just talking about where they put a humbucker in there and then the noise canceling thing doesn't work. And so I was kind of missing that guitar, so I watched the video and I'm like, oh my god, it's like, that is annoying when the, it gets rid of it. So no wonder why I got rid of it. But that was a pretty nice one. I, I like that one, but I sold it because uh, because I didn't have a job at the time. I quit my job because I was so tired of my manual labor, and uh, I sold a bunch of gear and shit just to pay for bills, and I ended up getting my, my old job back, and that's where I am again. It's hard not to be, like, bitter and stuff because, I mean, like, I didn't want to fucking work in a warehouse my whole life, but... Eh, it could be worse. At least I got security, and on the weekends I can drink beer and hang out and stuff and not worry about money. But I, I guess I regret selling that one. There are, there are a few guitars I regret selling. That would probably be one of them, because like I checked on Reverb to see if I could find the guy I sold it to, and like his account's gone, just to see if I could buy his like. I'm not saying I'm rolling in the dough or anything, but I could probably afford to to buy it back if I wanted to. The thing is, is I couldn't refuse the offer because I bought that thing for so cheap. I got a really good deal on it. I paid like 150 bucks for it, and I think I sold it for like 400 bucks. I'd probably pay 400 bucks to get it back, I guess, just because I I tend to hold on to stuff. You know, it's hard for me to, to get rid of stuff. Although I got a lot of shit I could probably get rid of. There is no greatest guitar I've ever played. They're all pretty much the same. There are different price points and different uses for each guitar. I tend to prefer Fenders because I'm the most comfortable on Fenders. But if I spend 20 minutes with a Gibson, I can I can pretty much get used to it. But I'm pretty much just a Fender scale length guy. Uh, that's about it.